the Mactan stations of the Cebu ART network phase 1. In a previous chapter video, we proposed a Metro Cebu ART network phase 1 that may attract the Ayala, Aboites, and SM conglomerates to fund the project. They will be the primary beneficiaries of the said project. The ART network is composed of two lines, the red line and the green line. The five business parks with their corresponding developers are as follows. South Coast City, Cebu Business Park, IT Park, Gatewalk Central, Mez 2, and the Mactan Airport. This is the same ART network overlain on a satellite map. In this chapter video, we will address the issues and problems of the three proposed stations at Mactan Island. This is a zoomed view of the three stations in Mactan Island. We will first look at the Rizal station. The ART station is proposed to be located on a government lot. The upper part is currently used as a plaza, the middle part is used as an auditorium, and the lower part is used as a basketball court. This will be the alignment of the ART line of the station. As additional incentive for the proponent to invest in the project, an additional area of 6 hectares may be provided to the proponent for development. The shaded yellow area is currently occupied by government buildings. Other parts are used as a public port facility. The balance of the shaded area is a foreshore area. Foreshore areas can be allowed by the Philippine Reclamation Authority for development by the private sector under the BOT law. To add more incentive to the ART proponent, this area can further be developed into a modern commercial complex similar to the megawide carbon redevelopment project. This is the proposed layout of the station. The first level will be the terminal for the connecting modes of transport. Part of the first level and the whole of the second level can be commercial spaces. The ART station will be on the third level. The plaza, auditorium, and basketball court are proposed to be relocated in the waterfront area. It will be modern, bigger, and much more beautiful in its relocated area. The waterfront facilities can be connected by a short pedestrian flyover. Many of the ART stations in Latin America double as social facilities. The roof deck of this La Paz ART station is a multi-purpose plaza, while this roof deck of this Medellin ART station is a landscaped garden. Other examples of social facilities are playground, places for dance activities, and a place for a mini-concert. In the roof deck of this ART station, there is an open-air gym that is available to the public free of charge. The proposed waterfront redevelopment of this station will be similar to the nearly completed redevelopment on Carbon Market and its vicinity. Both are located along a waterfront area. The Mactan waterfront has an existing ferry boat facility, while the Cebu waterfront is still to be constructed. Both ferry ports will serve each other with passengers. Both redevelopment projects are 7 to 8 hectares each. These are more photos of the carbon redevelopment. This is the footprint of the 6-hectare waterfront building, and this is the footprint of the ART station. This is a sample development of the deck of the waterfront building, and this is a sample development of the top deck of the ART station. This is the side view of the alignment. This is the pedestrian flyover that allows passengers to cross between the ART station and the waterfront complex at the same time. This is the frontal view of the alignment. The top deck of the waterfront complex will have an excellent and unobstructed view of flying cable cars and mainland Cebu. This is the replacement of the basketball court and the replacement of the gym that will be demolished at the Rizal Park. This tower is made so high to allow ships to pass under the cables. The other tower will already be at the edge of the Mandawe coastline at a distance of 1.2 kilometers. 
no other mode of transport can cross this distance without expensive, intermediate, reinforced concrete columns on the seabed, except subway. But tunneling under the seabed is even more expensive. The current ports will be expanded for neighboring inter-island shipping such as fast crafts. It will also be the port for cruise ships. This port will complement that of the new carbon market port, currently developed by Megawide. Aside from being commuter ferry terminals, both ports additionally function as touristic ports. They can be for boats that will provide Mactan Channel tours in the future. The population of Mactan Island is 580,000. This dotted line divides the population equally in half. Both sides of the line will need public transportation to go to mainland Cebu. The western half of the prospective passengers will use the Rizal station. The eastern half will use the Mez 2 station. Jeepneys and tricycles, which are prevalent in the island, will be the connecting modes of transport towards the two stations. Travel time to cross from Mactan to mainland Cebu will take only five minutes. Current travel times by jeepneys take much longer. The second station of the Mactan ART is the Mez 2 station. Between the Mez 2 and airport stations, the ART cabins will fly over a Mez 2 road, subdivision road, and a golf course. It proceeds to enter the airport premises towards the airport station. The airport station will be located above the current parking lot in between Terminal 1 and Terminal 2. The Philippine Air Force may express concern that its offices will be seen by the passengers on the left and military planes at the apron on the right. To address the security and privacy concerns of the Air Force, a smart glass can be installed as in the cable car cabins in Brest, France. This is a sample view inside the cabin. The smart glass can temporarily switch from clear glass to frosted glass to restrict the views of the passengers. If smart glass on all cabins is too expensive, a 2-meter artistic or green wall can be installed along the pathway on both sides. In La Paz, Bolivia, its ART is viewed as harmless with regards to the privacy concerns of the military. The yellow line flies over a military camp. Soldiers in training can be easily seen by the ART passengers. The green line overlooks a military college, the equivalent of the Philippine Military Academy. These are typical clearances of an ART line. The minimum height of the ART alignment along the road from Mez 2 to the airport will be about three stories high. The highest building beside the apron and runway is this Terminal 2 building. The building is about five stories high. The maximum height of the tower from Mez 2 is four stories high. The ART passenger platform will be at the third level. Again, it can be seen here that the ART line will fly over a golf course. If the golf course will be preserved, the ART cabins can be hit by golf balls since it cannot fly over more than five stories high. The golf course must be transferred. Mactan Island has 3,800 hectares of foreshore areas that are viable for reclamation. The shallow depths of these foreshore areas can be seen on a Google Earth map. Assuming 800 hectares will not be allowed to be reclaimed because of the presence of mangroves, that will leave a balance of 3,000 hectares of reclaimable land. If reclaimed, the depth of fill will only be shallow. The foundation of the foreshore areas is solid rock. The cost of foundation works for a building is much deeper than in the mainland Cebu reclamation areas. Several reclamation projects have been proposed in these areas. The contracts will likely be a build and share agreement wherein the government will get a share of the developed area. The national and local government can negotiate for the transfer of the golf course in any of the reclamation projects. There are currently four reclamation projects that may have already been approved for development in Mactan Island. 
They will be developed by the private sector under the PPP or BOT program at no cost to the government. Moreover, the government will receive a substantial portion of the developed land. For example, the North Mactan Reclamation Project has a golf course. The 797-hectare property shown in this yellow boundary used to be an American military base. After gaining independence from the United States, the Philippine government took over the property. The government used the area as the base for the Philippine Air Force. In 1966, the domestic airport in Lahog was transferred here. In the 1970s, the Mactan Golf Course was built. In 1978, the domestic airport was upgraded to become an international airport. In 1979, Mez-1 started and was completely filled up in the early 2000s. In 1995, Mez-2 was awarded to Aboites Group for development. In 1996, a general aviation facility was built for private planes and flying schools. In 2014, the Terminal 2 of the International Airport was built under PPP. What is left of the Air Force is a very small piece of land for its housing, facilities, offices, hangar, and apron. Our Air Force, located in the second largest metropolitan area in the Philippines, deserves better. This golf course can be converted by the Air Force to expand its facilities. One of the government recipients of the four Mactan reclamation projects is the Philippine Navy. As can be seen in the development plan, the Navy will receive a very well-planned and modern 66-hectare facility for its own use. The reclamation developer will receive 78 hectares that will be developed into a modern commercial complex. A similar agreement can be done for the Air Force. A modern Cebu deserves a modern military establishment for its protection. This is the Mactan Economic Zone 2 operated by the Aboites Group. The 5-hectare commercial component is on this side. The 5-hectare commercial component is predominantly composed of one- to two-story commercial buildings. With the renewal of its concession period, perhaps for another 25 years, bigger and more modern buildings can be built to maximize its being the host of an ART station. An ART station can generate tens of thousands of daily passengers. They are potential customers to the commercial spaces within or near the station. These are more details of the Mactan Airport Terminal 2. About 6 hectares of vacant space can still be developed in this terminal. The entire complex under the concession of the Aboites Group that includes Terminal 1 is at least 15 hectares. Commercial spaces in an airport command high rental rates. Also, unlike malls, busy customer and passenger traffic is almost 24 hours a day. There are tens of thousands of captive passengers that can afford to buy food, goods, and services while waiting for their flight departures. The addition of an efficient transportation system such as an ART that will service commercial spaces of the airport will command even higher rental rates. There is little doubt that Mactan will need a second runway within the next 20 to 30 years. Otherwise, it will suffer the same congestion that the Naia Airport has been experiencing over the past 15 years. The reduction of ART passenger traffic due to the transfer of MES-1 to this proposed relocation area will be compensated by the additional traffic of Terminal 3. This airport station will continue to serve its purpose efficiently. This is the satellite view of the location of the airport station. This is a top perspective view of the airport station. This is a frontal perspective view of the airport station. This is again the same ART network on a satellite map. MES-1 employs about 80,000 workers that rely on jeepneys and ferry for public transportation. Most of its workers live on mainland Cebu. We will introduce three jeepney routes from MES-1 to increase the ridership of the three ART stations at Mactan Island. 
The first route is from Mezuan to Rizal Station. The problem with this route is its heavy traffic congestion. The second route is from Mezuan to Mez2. This two-lane road can be improved to make travel even faster. The third route is from Mezuan to the airport station. The problem with this route is airport security. This may be solved by the creation of separate cabins, exclusive buses, and separate boarding and deboarding areas. How this is done will be covered in other chapter videos.